All right, so I changed hotels. I changed hotels. I like. I wanted to get. I wanted to be in a different hotel for a couple of days and, and really get the view and be able to kind of soak that in. So this is going to be my hotel for the next couple of days. It's called Hotel White Pearl. I've seen it before when I've come through, but I, I've never like. I've never stayed here, so I really wanted to come check it out. So I'm gonna. I'll show you. They don't, they have like that, that interest there, and then they have another one on the side that you can do. We've got the cool little fountain up there, but it's not running right now, it was running yesterday. See, they have this other entrance over here. You go straight down that road, and it takes you right down to Lakeside to the to the main road. It's really close. See, seriously, it takes like you go down there and around the corner, it seriously takes like two minutes. And they have a they have like a, a really nice elevator. Yeah, so I'm with the manager from um, from White Pearl, the hotel I'm staying at. He's a super nice guy. Made me feel really at home, so I thought I'd talk to him, ask him a couple questions, because his service is so good. Namaste, please tell me your name first, um, so I don't say it wrong. I am Kem Dahal. Uh, I have been working in this industry over 27 years. You can tell. Uh, and uh, this hotel, very nearly like just like a two month I've been Oh, two here. months only? Yeah, yeah. Oh. but like, but other hotel, I work many different hotel for many years. And outside of Nepal? Uh, especially in Papua. I just make the best in here. Oh, you do such a wonderful oh, thank job. Thank you. Like, thank you've you made so me much. totally feel at home oh. and like family. And thank I just you. really wanted to say thank you for oh, everything. You're welcome. I feel the same thing. You coming like as a guest. Uh. And after that, when you staying here, when you have a conversation, I feel you are like my good friend, like uh, a brother, like an yeah. uncle. I you feel know. the same way. I mean, I feel so <clears throat> comfortable and really, really like uh, happy to meet you, uh, sir. Oh, no, I'm so happy to meet you and I really appreciate everything you've done. You've just made me feel so welcome and everyone does such a great job. You're doing a great job, obviously, because people, there's no one here that has been anything but super nice and super helpful. Thank so, you so much. No. I'm so, so glad. I'm so you. glad Thank to you meet you. Yeah, yeah. But definitely, this is not our first and last. No, definitely we'll not. Again yeah. And yeah. Anything you need to help from my side, uh, definitely will get it. I appreciate it. And Thank you will not feel, oh, when I'm in Papua, oh, I don't know, you know, you feel quite tall can be your second home in the uh, I, It feels like that. It's the whole thank place so is so cozy. Thank so. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you so much. I'm so pleasure and happy to meet you. Yeah, so this is my room here at the White Pearl, here in Pokhara. This is the bathroom. It actually has a bathtub, which is awesome. I mean, it's nice, modern. It's got three. It's got two shower heads. It's got the telephone shower. It's got the regular shower. Curtains are closed, but this is what you're gonna see. This is this is the view. It's got this really nice balcony. I love it. It's just awesome. I mean, look at that view. You don't get that view anywhere else. I'll, I'll show you some views of the mountains because right now the clouds are out. You can't see them. But look at the lake. Look, look at how beautiful that is. It's just a beautiful view. And then also, this room, this room's on a corner, so it has two balconies. This is the other view. This one's just straight up mountains. I mean, it's just, and then you still get the lake from this balcony too. It's just awesome. I love being able to look down. This road is pretty busy, which I like. I don't, it, it's not like it's a lot of noise or anything, but I like it. And that's, that's Barahi over there with their probably nice heated pool. <laughs> that's Hotel Mala over there where I stayed for a couple days, but they didn't, their pool was too cold. I couldn't swim in it. It was like, I don't know. I think it's because it's behind that, the building on the sixth floor. And so it, it never really heats up during the day. That pool looks like it's probably pretty nice to swim in. Yeah, this is this is my room. I mean, you really can't beat that view. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I love it. I love I love just being able to see all of that. I mean, I think there's probably a few rooms at, at the Swiss Hotel that have pretty good views, but other than that, I mean, they're like the, like he said, like the manager said, there is no better view. He was so nice to me. I just came in off the street and asked about the room and, and he was so cool to give me this really good view and everything. So nice. Bed's really nice. It's really comfortable. It's, it's pretty soft. Like I don't think you'd want to sleep on something like that permanently because <laughs> I think it'd get to be too soft after a while, but it's really nice for vacation. The hotel doesn't have, 
not, it doesn't have like a pool and stuff like that. But I mean, that's not really the reason I chose this hotel. It's like the manager said when he, he and I were talking, he was saying to me earlier when we were talking, no other view like it in any hotel in Pokhara, and I, I believe him. And that's why I chose this hotel, you know. I mean, if you look on TripAdvisor and you see the pictures and stuff, you can see that it's obviously clearly got to have a great view, but it's the view is even better than what I expected. I mean, it, I, I like being able to like, you know, uh, look out over and look at the water, well, see the water and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go find me some food. Hopefully something I haven't eaten before. <laughs> I'm terrible at that, I get hungry. And then I get, I get, I get tired of trying to figure out something to eat. <laughs> I see. Hmm. Can I get onion ring and um, cheese momo? Potato cheese momo. Huh? Potato cheese momo. Potato cheese momo? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, potato cheese momo. Um, oops. Fried? Fried, yeah. Fried? Fried with you. Okay, okay. So I'm at Asian Tea House, as you can see. <laughs> it's just this little, some tables. In an alley, that's why I had trouble finding it. That lady makes her food right there in that kitchen. Right there. Ay, hungry. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I wait as long to eat. <laughs> this onion drinks from mom oh, and sauce. You. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of fried stuff. <laughs> Damn. I don't know what I was thinking. She said sorry, so it took a long time. Onion rings are really good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need to add any salt or anything. Yeah, I mean, you can see them, they're kind of golden brown. They're good. I'm scared to try these because I know they're going to be super hot. You can see, I mean, look, it's supposed to be potato and cheese on the inside. I'm not sure what kind of cheese. Break this thing open. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at as the fine. What's this? 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 How long is that? It's on 30 to 45 minutes. Oh, right? It's kilometers off road trip. Eight, com eight yeah. kilometers? So, yeah. where do you start from? Uh, okay, <laughs> so do you take me there? Yeah, yeah we take Oh, you take me there? Yeah. Oh. And, it, and so you go off road about. Yeah, it's off-road. About 35-40 so minutes? Off, yeah, around 40 in exact, maybe. Oh, okay. So it's nice. It's an off-road trail. So we can go. We take you from our vehicle to the to oh. headquarter. Oh. And then we just move. And then you bring me back? Yeah. Okay. Bring me back. Uh, oh, okay. So, in what time? This starts from 8 a.m. 8 a.m. In the morning. Okay. And the last one is at 3.30. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, it, it is in the duration of around 1 hour 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Eight. About 1 hour 30 minutes round yeah. trip, you say? Yeah. Is that what you said? Oh. Trip, yeah. Okay. So, all you have to do is follow the guidelines. And in case of anything happens or any uh, accidents, uh, if you don't follow the guidelines, yeah, yeah. you'll be liable. So that's okay. it. Yeah. No problem. Okay. And you, do you need pickup or will you come by yourself? I'll just come. I just ride up the street. Signed up for the ATV thing, which kind of fits my channel anyway. Motorcycle type deal. <laughs> so we'll see. He said about 45, like you heard, he said about 45. 
That's an angry dog. I said about 45 minutes on the ATV, about an hour and a half round trip from their little spot. I had to be there at 9.30 tomorrow morning. They take me out to some place where I guess you start from. I'm guessing they don't let you get too crazy on it though, because they don't want you to get injured. <laughs> so it should be fun though, it'll be a good time. I have, I've never ridden an ATV actually before. I've ridden go-karts, mini bikes, motorcycles, but I've never ridden an ATV. I finally got my motorcycle back. He had to replace the front bearings for the steering, for the cone. So that, that was like 8,300 rupees, which is about $62 US. Plus the day before he made me new brake pads. Uh, and he, he's also greased up my shocks and, and my, I mean, my front suspension and stuff. It is, it is feeling a lot smoother. So I had to go back a couple days to go check it, which I wasn't planning on being here that long, but uh, I guess I'm going to be. But I, I mean, I gotta get into KTM before my permit. <laughs>